This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to a review of Agatha All Along, Episode 8, Follow Me, I Friend, To Glory at the End, and Episode 9, Maiden Mother Crone. And, honestly, eh, I wasn't the hugest fan of the finale. As I mentioned week by week, I wasn't the hugest fan of this, but I think this is enjoyable for someone who would enjoy more content like this. There was some stuff I really liked this week. I think that really everything with Agatha and her son was well done to set up her losing him. And the fact that there was nothing that she did to give him up that she just lost him and blames death for that. And I mean, I kind of get it, but death is death and is really just taking people away after they have died. So, I can understand her hatred of death, but I also don't get why death wanted to kill her. I mean, there was a real no thing like, for example, uh, Puss in Boots from a few years ago. There was a reason death wanted to kill Puss in that ahead of his time, but in this one, it just seemed like death wanted to kill Agatha or Billy just because... She could. So, nothing super clear about that. And, just continuing through it, with episode 8, I mean, the last trial, I, mean, I guess it was fine, I think, that only really interesting thing about that was that uh, Tommy was brought back and is going to be used for the Young Avengers, either movie or TV show that they haven't announced yet, but we all know is coming. I mean, people have known this for years, even before it was teased at the end of, I think it was the Marvels. But, yeah, just going through this, I think that, honestly, just with that one, What's the interesting thing, and that was the fight between Agatha, Billy, and Death. And I don't really understand fully why Agatha did go to kill herself in that and become a ghost. I don't fully understand it and how she knew she'd become a ghost or really anything. And a lot of it's not explained towards the end because. The main explanation for this entire thing is and one of the other things I really enjoyed that after we see everything with Agatha and her son, we learn that in a pretty interesting twist that the entire Witch's Road is a scam and it doesn't exist. It was all created, in fact, by Agatha just to get witches to go and sacrifice themselves to her after she gets frustrated with them and pushes them into attacking her. So, yeah, honestly, I think that it's a pretty logical thing about her character, and she points out that even though Billy went and created this illusion, that he wound up actually saving someone because, well, they all would have been killed when, well, besides Sharon, since she didn't have any mystical abilities, unless I could just kill her because she was a witness. So she was pointing out that really Billy went and saved one of them because ultimately they all would have been dead at the end. Which, well, it doesn't really make too much sense with that when you start to think about it because. Jen had her powers cut off, and it turns out that it was done by Agatha. That was just sort of came out of nowhere, and it really had no major impact on the plot besides the fact that she could use Agatha specifically to 
break the curse and the entire thing about the witch's road being sort of an illusion also made things a little confusing to the fact that while Agatha was able to go and kind of just well, get this lie, but also the fact that the others seem to know things about it, like in the last episode where she knew that if you stayed in the trial for too long, like that would lead to death, and I mean, it doesn't really make too much sense. But also, there's the fact that I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot of like probably plot holes if you go and think in on the series, knowing that there is this plot hole, and and. You could. They also really easily could have just kind of ended it before realizing that the entire witch's road wasn't real, and just had that be the ending to tease Billy was going off in the end, and just tossed in the thing about Agatha and her son earlier into the show. So yeah, see so last episode. Uh, it didn't feel super necessary. And the storyline, I mean, it was definitely interesting to see all that broken down at the end, but uh, it feels like they really didn't need the last episode, and so it had this big crazy twist to push it along a little longer. I mean, the twist was pretty decent, but I don't know, it didn't feel like they needed to do it. I felt like they had a decent idea for a twist, just to um, give this an extra episode in length. But you know what, to be fair, at least they didn't do what the Acolyte did and literally just replay an episode from a slightly different perspective, and by that I mean extending scenes just a little bit longer. So, I mean, at least it wasn't that, and they actually had a decent enough reason to extend it an extra episode. So... Yeah, honestly, just go through it. I'm not sure if there's going to be either a season two or if this is just going to be done in Young Avengers or something where Billy finds Tammy because, I mean, this show, it was a, it was a fun time to watch, but that was honestly really it. Last two episodes, I said I thought they were fine, but not the greatest thing to really ever exist. And, yeah, honestly, that's really all I have to say. But I want to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the Force be with you.